company is a media buying and management uh, organization. So we buy direct response media in uh, print, TV, radio, and online. Uh, we've built out technology that allows uh, our customers to track their visits and orders online, track it back to traditional media. We've got uh, a lot of in-house proprietary technology that tracks back-end uh, transaction reporting and ties it to media front-end. So uh, we've been around for uh, 11 years now, and uh, we're headquartered in New York City. My previous life, I used to sell television advertising. Uh, for a television rep firm. And I used to sell mostly independent and Fox television stations across the country. And I uh, used to sell to direct response agencies back in the late 80s or early 90s. And um, then after I did that for a while, moved up through management, left and started a company called uh, Click Now Sales, which was one of the first online uh, media direct response sales companies in the country. That company was sold to a uh, publicly traded company called 24-7 Media. Again, very direct response, technology oriented, and grew that to uh, you know, a company with uh, 25 offices domestically and internationally, and um, you know, had a big focus on direct response. After that, my tenure was over there. Uh, we started uh, Chief Media, which is a combination of traditional media and online technology in the direct response space. Technology really is a differentiating factor. We're a very hands-on agency. When you talk to us about what we do, um, you know, a lot of agencies in this, in this business buy media very well. We get very involved in a client's campaign. We, we break down every single campaign as if we were the marketer running P&Ls and projections and financials and cash flows, coming up with offers and, and uh, different configurations that may get greater profit out of a campaign, whereas a, a marketer may have not known that before. We draw from all of our experience amongst all of our clients over hundreds of millions of dollars of media spend over the years we've been in, in business and impart that knowledge on our clients to ultimately generate a greater, more efficient ROI for our clients. And then after we do that, on top of that, we layer on all of our technology that we've built out, and it's really unique. The industry, in our mind, is uh, becoming tougher and tougher to make uh, a profit in from a direct response standpoint, so technology is really needed now. And the system that we've tied together um, called Continuum, which is a system that tracks all the orders and transactions that happen after the initial sale, back to the original media that generated the sale. So you can see a true end-to-end -end view of the lifetime value of the customer that you're acquiring is unique in our industry. It's never been done before and it allows you to optimize and buy media more efficiently to hit the customers that really make a difference to you. Not the ones that are generating the best cost per calls, but the ones that are generating the greatest relationship with you over time. That's what makes us different. The people that we have at our company is what makes me successful. You know, they, they really are the greatest. They've been with us forever. We don't have a high amount of turnover. Uh, they all act like they own the company and they take it very seriously. Everyone participates in the success or failure of our company on a month-to-month -month basis. So everyone's incentivized to make it work. And that really, to me, is a differentiating factor. The, the, the areas that we go in, the new technology initiatives that we have, everyone has a, has a say in executing on those plans. And that's what makes us successful, it really is. Uh, when we first started the company, one of our biggest clients was a marketer that was new to the industry. And uh, they had a very, very successful uh, fitness product that we were buying the media for. Um, the company, not knowing the business all that well, didn't understand the cash flows and capital needs, et cetera, especially when you have a very successful product. So they got into a little bit of trouble. Being a media agency, media buying agency, you're buying millions of dollars in media a week, um, of which clients should pay you for um, when, when the bill arrives. Uh, sometimes in our industry, that doesn't always happen. And when you have an inexperienced marketer, they can run into issues with inventory, et cetera. This inexperienced marketer got a little behind in inventory and ultimately ended up having a situation that turned into a lot of um, uh, unfulfilled orders and ultimately returns that drove them into uh, a bankruptcy situation. 
we being there, uh, a company that was owed a lot of money with them um, was one of what was called an unsecured creditor um, during the bankruptcy and we became uh, a marketer for the product because uh, we decided that in order to get ourselves paid back, in order to get the other vendors who were not paid back, fulfillment houses, television stations, call centers, etc., we would run the campaign um, at a level that we felt was, um, was going to be more efficient than what was happening prior. So we actually became a marketer by default because we had to pay ourselves back and it was a substantial amount of money. We got stations paid back, fulfillment houses paid back, call centers paid back, we sourced new product, we edited the show, understood direct response inside and out to a level that we never really anticipated um, figuring out when it comes to direct response, but that's what drives the way that we do business today. That experience allows us to truly understand what a marketer goes through, and we impart that knowledge now. Uh, and that's the root of all of the hands-on, upfront work that we do for clients and analysis and, and uh, taking the painstaking time to make sure that a campaign has the ability to be profitable by running all the metrics and history, uh, historical data before they go ahead and spend any money and potentially lose a lot of money. But that process was a, was a real tough time to go through, but at the end of the day, looking back on it, it was the best thing that could have ever happened to us. And our clients know that uh, the numbers that we put together through that process and, and that, we are, that we articulate to them you know, prior to them spending a dime with us are the ones that show them making success. And we don't require or, re or recommend that they spend money if we can't hit those metrics that show them prop to be profitable. So Scott Paternoster, Chief Media www.chiefmedia.com